So the film starts with two little shits playing a card game and then we're faced with two coppers sitting on a stakeout. Okay, bit of a bizarre opening but let's roll with the punch. So this lady here tells her partner that she's pregnant and he flips. Are, are you pregnant? Seconds later he's happy. Well that's great. Now I know shocking news takes time to sink in and get used to but three seconds, come off it. I'm gonna be a dad. Well, saying that is stupid because you die. So this cop is obviously upset and she tries her best to show this, but her acting sucks, so it's just funny to be frank. No! Oh god! You bastards! God damn you! Now a chase scene begins and the bad guys enter an old warehouse that just happens to be the graveyard for unwanted crappy toys. Now that's fair enough because where else would you expect to find demonic toys? So if you're perhaps thinking this is going to be a carbon copy of Puppet Master, then you're pretty much correct, although it's not quite as entertaining, nor does it have a dead guy walking around, weirdo sidekicks, the slug man, evil Nazis, actually it's nothing like Puppet Master. I mean they're shit and they're shit and this is just shit. There's not even the amusing bunch of idiotic characters like I just said. Puppet Master gave us the dead guy who was alive one minute and dead the next, and the slug man, yada yada yada. But this just gives us the whiny pig. Pig. The annoying bad guys who make you wish this film was shot in 3D so you could actually reach into the TV and grab the fuckers so you could strangle them. The stupid guy who works at the chicken place and drives a stupid chicken car, and the stereotypical fat security guard. Actually, that's not stereotypical. Security guards are always fat, and he loves his food and orders the chicken guy about. I get off your fucking ass and bring me my food. Got it. <laughs> I just think that's a great, hilarious line. Silly fat bastard. So, Chicken Boy doesn't like his job, and look at this. It makes McDonald's look like a well-respected place to go and eat. Well, actually, it doesn't, but whatever. So Chicken Boy gets into his chicken mobile, his chicken mobile, and drives on over to the warehouse to give the fat security man his food. Why would an old warehouse full of reject toys need a night watchman? How the fuck should I know? It makes no sense. No. Suddenly one of the bad guys who was shot out in the parking lot. Oh God. Oh hit. Gee, you're really sharp, slick, as a basketball sees a spotlight turned on. Now, you kind of half expect Mr. Bean to fall down in this spot of light. So, the bad guy crawls on over to the light, his blood drips onto the floor, and this just happens to make the toys come to life. But you don't question it though, because it's just a given that blood falling onto a warehouse floor will make this happen. Now, out of all the toys to come alive, why couldn't that dinosaur come to life? It'd be like Carnosaur then, much more entertaining. Uh, I think I'm kidding myself there. Uh. So the toys attack the bad guy who makes no effort whatsoever to escape from the demonic toys. I mean, look at this! He holds his hand out to be bitten off. What is he thinking? And since when did toy robots shoot laser beams that can do actual damage? I wish those were around when I was a kid. Then a small child from the beginning walks out of nowhere and tells us that he's been asleep for a long time and wants to raise hell. What's that got to do with the price of bread? Nothing! Jesus. So the pig catches up with the other bad guy and kicks the shit out of him. Nice. Chicken Boy delivers his food to his master and they kick back and relax with some beers. God damn, I hate him. Son of a bitches. Oh, just a completely random and irrelevant scene involving killing bugs. Even Chicken Boy looks amused by it. I simply love random clips popping up. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! So the security man goes for a walk on his own and lo and behold he's attacked by the demonic toys. Now I love how he's seen a talking doll that picks up his gun and he doesn't seem too shocked or interested in stopping it. Even when this deformed looking teddy bear bites off his face he just lays there like he's out sunbathing. And check this annoying clown or jester jack-in-a-box thing. It just pisses you off because it never stops laughing for one second. Uh, 
So when everyone else is wondering what the hell is going on, a young girl pops up from a vent and says, It's the toys. Well, yeah, duh, that was pretty obvious. Anyway, what's she doing in a vent? Been sleeping here the last couple of nights. Run away. <laughs> yeah. Bit of a strange place to move out into, isn't it? A vent in an old warehouse. So, Chicken Boy pipes up once again, asking what is going on once again, and he gets the same answer again, just like he did a few seconds ago. Amazing. But the best part is, he flips out now and gets a bitch slap. Boys! So let's just see what they did to Charnetsky? Jesus Christ, they tore him apart! Quiet! We gotta get out of here! This is fucked! We gotta get out! Shut up! Oh! Pow! Girl power. <laughs> So the runaway girl is positive that the warehouse is haunted and now we're treated to a magic show from some possessed blocks with letters on them. Then the bad guy is possessed and turns into the little kid who talks bullshit and this seems to trigger a huge chain reaction in everybody because their acting skills sink to even lower standards and the dialogue is just awful. This isn't funny anymore guys. Look! Look we gotta get out of here it's that simple I can't handle this ghost shit. What are you chicken? Don't ever mention the word chicken to me again. So fucking what? Now he's the prime suspect for bad lines right there. So the cop has a weird dream about this freaky little boy who keeps randomly popping up. So hopefully we'll now find out who the hell he is. A spirit. Just like your little friend said. A bad one too. And my lines are structured perfectly for idiots who can't work out for themselves that I'm obviously bad. Now he tells us that he's an evil demon who's been waiting around exactly 66 years to be born again and thanks to flashback scenes we find out that he was born as an ugly little bastard and because he was stillborn this old couple decide to give him away to some trick or treaters. I have a very special surprise for you. Now he is like a seed and you must plant him and take very good care of him. Do you understand? Yes. How stupid were people back in the 1920s? Just give me some candy, you old crow. Planting a dead demon baby in the ground isn't a good enough substitute. These two go for a trip through the vents and spy on a group of little girls riding around the warehouse on tricycles whilst wearing gas masks. Hmm, weird. So the toys find their way into the vents and naturally their victims initially don't move so Chicken Boy gets stabbed in the leg while the runaway girl gets laser blasted in her arm. Cue Chicken Boy freaking out some more before the toys catch up with them again and a battle takes place. Notice how the jester box is hanging through the window there and it looks like she actually reaches back to grab the box so she can hold it properly. Brilliant. Of course, standing perfectly still is a necessity in this movie, even when a doll jumps at your face and stabs you in the eye repeatedly. Reminds me of a bit of a scene from Puppet Master. Now, interesting fact of the day, this film is made by the same low budget assholes who made Puppet Master, Full Moon. So, at least they're consistently crap. So Chicken Boy shoots the jester and then goes into overkill here. Macho Man. The bad guy then manages to free himself from the plastic handcuffs and just as he's about to wipe out Chicken Boy, he's shot in the head by the cop and then shot in the shoulder by Chicken Boy and then has his head knocked off when Chicken Boy hits him with the shotgun handle. Now I should say, the toys don't feature a great deal and when they do, they don't exactly save the film but what did you expect? So it's not really a surprise that a million sequels didn't follow this unlike the Puppet Master series although I did just discover that a Demonic Toys 2 was released earlier this year. Hmm... So I was wondering why this demon child doesn't just make all the toys come to life? Well, hold on to your horses because all the toys do come to life. But they don't do anything, they just kind of wobble around a bit before the cop and the chicken boy decide to shoot every single toy they can see. Wouldn't it be cool if you could go into Toys R Us or somewhere and just blow up all the shitty toys? And then go Power Rangers style on all the dick ones who work there. So this must be the end then, but wait just a minute, let's throw in a giant rabid man in a bear suit. Now he throws Chicken Boy into some boxes and chases the cop into a small room. Now with no way out, she decides that suicide is her best option until a little tin soldier opens the door for her. Where the hell did he come from? 
Now if that's a bit messed up, then it won't shock you to see this tin soldier shooting the demon in the face, freeing the cop who is tied up, and then transforming into a little boy so he can now fight the bad spirit. Almost as good as Arnie and Bennett in Commando. Almost. Meanwhile, Chicken Boy drives his chicken mobile into the giant bear man, and then probably because he doesn't like driving a chicken mobile around, he blows it up. He could have sold it on eBay. So, who was the toy soldier then? Well, that was the cop's unborn child who apparently didn't want to grow up to be evil, so found a way to help and appeared as a toy soldier. Mental. And that's the end. So, pretty good. I'm sure you'll agree. Two and a half out of ten.